I'm from Harlem. I'm well. I was I was born I was born in the Bronx, but um, I moved to Harlem when I was like seven, eight years old, and I just was like raised in Harlem ever since. When did you come into the scene? Like you know, like the village and all of that. When did you come into all of that? Oh, 2005. <laughs> like that was like my first can't, time. Can't you. you can't hear me. No. You can hear me better now. Yeah the scene, like, the village and all of that, like, 2004, 2000, hold on, let me show this thing. 2004, 2005, like, around then. Okay, okay. That's, that's when I, that's when I remember, that's the amount of time when I kind of met you, you first came out and stuff like that. What made you, what made you want to transition and stuff? Like, what made you want to transition? Um, I always, and, your phone is your, some wait. Something's going on with your phone. Your phone is going like in and out. I always, I always felt different from when I was like a child, um, and I was like young. Like I always had hair, so everybody used to always mistake me for a little girl anyway. And I just like, I like, I feel like, like, like people saw me before I actually saw myself as a child. And like them saying it, it was like I, I would be in, like, like when my mother would correct them, I would be embarrassed and I would get like awkward because I'm like, why? Like you know, just let them say it. Like, girl, like stop, like because. You know, once they once once somebody corrects somebody, it's like they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and it's like all of that, and I just just be like, "Girl, like it is what it is." So she, so she, so you, so your mother was hey, hating bulls. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kim was hating on the girls. She hated bulls. So, so when you first, but one time when you started transitioning, you 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 was going in and out and back and forth. Mm. Why, why were you going in and out and back and forth in, in that decision at that time? Um, at the time, it was kind of like a comfort thing. And I started to, like, get in my head about a lot of stuff, especially, like, transitioning and shit. Like, it used to just, like, like it, it just used to, like, like, I, I started, mm, like, I, I just really used to get in my head about the transitional thing because then, like, I would have conversations and, like, people would say, like, oh, well, you don't want to do, you don't try to do this. And then later on, you, like, you decide that you don't want to do it. Because I started getting in drags very early on. So it was, like, never really a decision. Like, like I never really had, like, a grace period to whether I wanted to do it or I didn't want to do it. It was, like, I just got up in them, and I just was, like, me. You know what I'm saying? So when I had, like, I think I was, like, 18, 19. 19. I was 19. When I had 19, that's when I started, like, getting in my head about it. And then um, I had dropped out of high school. So I was, like, if I go to try to get my GED as a girl, I'm not going to stay in class. Because I tried it already. And because I was a girl, I was like, I was hanging out with my girlfriends. We was, you know, we was doing the shit that the girls do. I wouldn't wake up one time. I wasn't doing the shit that I needed to do. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to do this and like get this done. And when I peeled out, it was like, I kind of got comfortable because it's cheaper. It's way cheaper. <laughs> like, no shade. It's way cheaper to be like, oh, like to be a boy. Like haircuts is 20, haircuts is $20 compared to motherfucking four packs of 20 inches that was like $75. It was way cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Like the clothes was cheaper. It was, it was, it was, it was different. But then um, I had gotten dragged to the Old Navy Ball in 2011. And I just, from that day when I got back up in them, I just felt the comfort and I just stayed a girl from then until now. What made you start walking balls, though? What made you, how you get into the balls? Um, I used to go to Safe Space. It was like this drop-in, this youth drop-in center on 30th Street. Um, Imani actually introduced me to Safe Space. And I just met, like, a bunch of people there. Like, that's where I, like, first, like, watched my first ball tape. Um, I saw, like, the first people, like, I saw, like, like, champagne and stuff like that. And at that time, champagne was a big thing. So it was like, I seen her on the clips. We would always watch the clips. And then one day, like, champagne came in and I was, like, gagging. Like, bitch. This is the lady from the this lady from the DVD. <laughs> and I like I met her and stuff. And, um Tyrone was my butch queen mother. She um Champagne was Tyrone's mother. And then like we had all went to like GMHC for like a Kiki ball one day for the first time. And I liked it. And then the next time it was another one, like a few months later, we went to the next one and then um I had got I had gotten dragged. No, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. We went to the ball at GMAC, then it was a ball at HMI. And me and Shani had went to the ball at HMI. And we both got in drags and whooped realness. Look, we was already, we was already in drags, but we just like, we got, Luna did our makeup. It was a key. They had some. Who? Luna. <laughs> like, 
Luna's at our makeup gag. It was a key. And they had like some wigs and shit in the bag. And we had went and put the wigs and stuff on out the little pantry room. And like we had like these little skirts and shit they had, like the little clothes and stuff that, that was donated to them. We put that on and we walked around and, and I had one. Oh my gosh, you a key, yo. How many, how many years ago was that back? That was that was like late two thousand and five. That was that was late two thousand and five. So it happened. It was like real quick. It was real quick. It wasn't. It didn't take that much time. Real quick, real quick. So how did you how did you start gaining like? Cause when I when I started meeting y'all, y'all had y'all own little clique. Like it was like you, Armani, Shani. Y'all had y'all own clique. Y'all had y'all own kids. Y'all was no. Like you got a gag. That's, not, that's not when we met. You got a gag. We didn't meet. We didn't meet at that time. So gag. I always tell the story. I met you in the Peter Pit. It was like when you came out the transition on West Fourth. It was like the little um gyro place right there, and they had like the orange and green sign. And I was in it with me and Maya, and um it was me, me and Maya, like Kazim. It was like all of us. I used to hang with them, like when I was like a butch queen, butch queen. Gag. And you had um you like like when you came out the transition, everyone was like, oh Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. I'm like, oh I don't like bitch. I don't know her. Like I never seen her before. Like I don't know this lady at all. And when you walked in, like. And it was like saying hi, and you said hi, and like your voice caught me off guard. <laughs> I was like, bitch, like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm gagging. And you was like, hi, bitch, come here, give me a hug. Like, what's your name? And I had said, like, my bush queen name or whatever. And you was like, oh, okay. Like, and you just, like, went about your business, and that was it. That was the first time I actually met you, gag. I don't remember. I don't remember that. I don't yeah, remember. It was like, like, you know, like that. That's like a. Re- that's like a regular day in the village for me. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was way like I, I met you before, like the Shani, like because I started hanging with Shani. I was hanging with Shani and them already, but I was more so hanging with me and Maya and them. Like me and Imani used to be with me and Maya and them because Imani was like my first gay best friend. Where you meet Imani at? The village. I met everybody in the village. <laughs> who took? But who took you to the village? Get, I took myself to the village. I, you just went. Yeah, I just because I always um. I used to all like I, I always hung out with like cunts and stuff, and then I had finally came out and told the cunts like I was, I was like I'm like bisexual, and then one of my cunt girlfriends was like you should go to the village, like pride is coming, like like you should go to the village, and I was like I wanted to go, and me and my cousins were supposed to go, and um my aunt wouldn't let my cousins go, so we went like we couldn't go, like she went she wouldn't let us like she wouldn't let them go, and my mother wouldn't let me go if I didn't go if I didn't go with them. So we ended up staying in the house, and probably like a few days later, it was like early in the daytime. I had like cut school. And took the train downtown and, like, was just, like, I got up on House the Street, gang, and I was lost, you know, where I was at. I was, like, like 14 years old, and I was just, like, walking around, trying to find a, um, trying to find a pair. And then when I finally, like, I finally found it, and I walked all the way back around to House the Street to get on the train. And then later on that day, my girlfriend had told me, like, you could just take the, um, the, the two to, um, Christopher Street. Like, you take the two to 14, then you take the one to Christopher, and you'll be, like, right there. And I gagged, it was, like, right, it was the same thing. And you saw all the girls. Who's the first? Who's the first person you saw though? Spanish Erica and Apollo. <laughs> right, Spanish Erica and Apollo. Yeah, Spanish Spanish Erica and Apollo. Like those, like because when I went in the daytime, it wasn't really it was people out, but it wasn't really people out. Like, it was more so white people out in the day. You know what the village giving like the early afternoon. It don't give the same thing that they give at night. So when I went, yeah, when I went to the, when I went to daytime, it wasn't nobody out there. But I went back the same night. Like I went home and changed my clothes. I went back the same night, and I guess it was like a whole different ball game. Oh, you wanted? Oh, you wanted? Yeah, you, I wanted, you wanted, I wanted some to of the action. <laughs> I, was, I, wanted, oh, I wanted to. I wanted did to. Did she some smoke? I wanted to run into the girls. Yeah. So so, but when I when I started seeing y'all around. It was like you, Amani, or y'all had all these kids and all these families. Mm-hmm. What made y'all come with all of that? Mm. I don't. You gotta get. I don't, when 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 you first when I first started seeing you, I don't think I had no kids. When we started hanging out and stuff, you had Matt. You it was Cam, Davina. No, so gag. London, so gag. Because I, I remember it. Um. The, that's when the, um, the clubhouse was on 123rd at the um, the karate club. And I had met, ever, I was like, I was hanging out with Sh- um, Chantel and them we would be in Jersey. And um, remember Shani was Erica's order. Shani was, everybody had like a mother. I was the only one that didn't have a mother. And um, I, don't, I don't remember what, I don't remember what happened, but Erica and them used to be like, bitch, you should be Courtney's order. Gag, you really give us Courtney. Like, you really give us Courtney boobs. And I used to be like, girl, like, that lady don't want to be my mother. Like, it's like, I don't know her. Like, 
and I was at the karate club one day, and you was like at the karate club, and you was like, like come in, like I came, because I had said some shit to Kaisha. Kaisha said something to me, and I said some slick shit back, and you was like, work, you my daughter now, and I was like, oh, okay, like, and then that's that's how you became my mother, and then like probably like two years later, that's when I started having like mad kids and shit, and I started I started being mixy, because I was quiet, I used to just be quiet. So I'm not. So I'm not your mother now. Cause you a late piece of bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I late? Cause you late. Like we gonna get into that. We gonna stick to the timeline first, though. <laughs> no, bring it. No, you can bring it. No, because girl, you this, la- girl, this go- girl, you late because that it was it, it was a situation that happened with these people or whatever the case may have you, and she decided to just take their side. And go with what they said and call me and chastise me about some shit that I did not do. And um, then they lied again and said that I had sent people to their house and did all of this stuff. And I understood where she was coming from after we had the conversation. But before the conversation, I didn't really understand it because I'm like, you know me. Like, you know that I don't give stuff like that. Like, I will fight a person. I'm not going to send nobody to go fight nobody. Especially if I'm not going to be there. That's not me. Like... You know what I'm saying? But then, under, like, after we had, like, like a discussion about it, and she kind of, like, broke it down, I understand. I understood where it was coming from, but then it was still, like, other stuff that just, like, happened, and, like, on Gia's birthday, the conversation, it just was like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. No, you have, no, I, okay, to the situation, I didn't pick sides. Mm-hmm. As you may think, I picked sides, but I didn't pick sides. It was a couple of things that was said to me from both sides. I never once repeated. I never once repeated what you said to me. I never once repeated what they said to me. Mm-hmm. Because I was I was trying to find a karmic ground so it could end. I never once said, like, oh, they said this. Because they said things to me. And, and, and back and forth, this and that. When you called me and said they was calling y'all phones, I asked them. They said no. I asked you about another situation. You said no. So that's what it gave. And then moving forward... I just feel like you was just dragging the whole thing out, Miss Thing. But how was I dragging it? I was the one that was paying it. That was the key. Like until this day, I I don't like, I don't I don't say I don't really like care about it. Like I don't I never dragged it. I paid the whole situation from the beginning from the beginning to to the end. Like I was being antagonized all over social not all over social media because it wasn't a lie, but on Facebook. Bitches was always writing statuses about me. That's when lives that first came out. Bitches was jumping in people's lives, saying stuff, and, like, just trying to be funny. And I wasn't even in the mood to go back and forth. I said I was going to address her when I seen her. And when I seen her, I addressed her. She got cute. I smoked her. And it just went from it just went from there. And after the fight, I was paying it. I didn't really, like, I didn't, I didn't really care. I didn't really care about it. And then when you call me saying, like, I sent somebody so to what? their house, I'm like, no, I did not. Like, I'm, watch, I'm watching TV. Like, I'm in my house watching, like, well, I'm not sending nobody nowhere. So what what was the issue with you and, and Violet that could not have been avoided? The thing is, it wasn't really an issue with me and Violet. That was the thing. Violet was really, like, she was really in love with her lover. And she let her lover manipulate her mind on multiple occasions with multiple friends. I'm not the only friend that she got into something with. And because when everything happened, we was in Miami. That's how everything started. It wasn't even my thing. I didn't even get into it with her. She got into it with her father and um and like 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 with, with Kalia and Envy. Because it was me, it was me and Envy, and then it was her and Kalia. She had went out there to get her nose done. I had went out there to go do surgery that didn't like fall through. And we ended up meeting up. Her and Kalia got into it when we was at dinner. And then when I was, because I had a rental, and I was driving them back to the hotel. And when I was driving them back to the hotel, her and Envy got into it in the car. And I was the one that was actually on her side. I didn't have, like, I didn't have nothing bad to say to her. I didn't say anything. Like, I was trying to get Kalia to stay there and everything. And then, like, probably, like, the next day or so, um, Envy was saying that he kept, because Kalia ended up leaving and coming with us. So Envy was saying he kept calling her, and he couldn't get through to her on the phone. Like, she wasn't answering. So I called her phone, and I was like, you know, um, like your father's looking for you. Like if that's your father and you like he just won't talk to him. Like let him know what happened. That was like it. Next thing I know, it's like status is being posted about me on Facebook, like she's throwing subs. So when I went to go hit up her lover, um, to see what had happened, I saw that the lover had deleted me. And when I asked him why he deleted me, he said it was because of um some shit that he told me that I went and told her and she brought it back to him and he said that it was a lie again, allegedly. And me and him ended up getting into an exchange of words over the phone. Um, 
she called me, giving whatever, she, like, 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 not going off for like, oh, we don't have nothing to do with him. Like, it's just us. And I'm like, bitch, it's not even us. I don't even have a problem with you. Like, just don't speak to me, bitch. I won't speak to you. And then, like, probably like, like the day before we left, somebody had called. Chantel had called my phone and was like, she was on, she was with Toya and um, Violet had called Toya and was talking about some, um, when I get back to New York City, she's gonna beat my ass and then she's gonna do this, that, and the third. And I called Violet's phone right there on the beach and was like, bitch, you still in Miami, I'm still in Miami, what's up? We don't have to wait till we get back to New York. And Violet's exact words was, I never said that. I never said when I got back to New York, nothing. They're lying, this, that, and the third. And I was like, okay, just leave me out of it. And I left it at that. As soon as we get back to New York, all of these subs is coming on Facebook again. Like, and it just it just escalated from there. This, this started in June, and I didn't run into Violet again until Thanksgiving. You, you don't think you could have walked away from that page? No, I couldn't have walked away from it because that's my that was my sister. So if I'm coming to you as a sister to have a conversation, what is the problem with us having a conversation? I want to let you know, I don't know what you was given. I don't really give a fuck what you was given. But you was doing entirely too much for somebody that has been lying on you for years. You don't you don't think that you don't think in New York City y'all y'all call each other sister too fast or um, because everybody's not your sister. Go ahead, finish. I'm asking, uh, that's the question. No, like I like for me personally, um, I don't really like call people sister like that too, like too fast. It actually takes me a while to actually call somebody a sister. Like I have to like I I have to like like wait like 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 I don't have to wait, but it's like for me it has to be like more so of a bond. I don't just say sis the first day we start hanging out, or just because like like when I was partying we partied together. I'm not like bitch, that, you're not my sister, bitch. We just had a good time that night. We worked, in, bitch. We ended up in the same room one time. That don't mean we sisters, bitch. You was hungry, I was hungry, bitch, and we needed to eat. So, what what makes a sister to you? Um, I feel like it's a bond. I feel like when um when 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 somebody becomes your sister, you guys grow like it's like it's like a different kind. It's like a different kind of bond. And this lifestyle, we throw around the word sis, but I don't really use sister too much. So even even the cis thing, I just started really with the cis thing. Like I, I would say honestly on Bigo, because I wasn't even doing the cis thing like outside of that if it wasn't my sister. So what makes a sister? To me, so you do anything? Huh? So you do anything for a being? So you do anything for a being? <laughs> you got to do what you got to do to get where you got to get. No shade. No, but like like a, a, a sister to me is like somebody that you grow a bond. Somebody that you grow a bond with, like. Some like 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 somebody that you let into you, somebody that like you know feels like under that you that understands you, somebody that you understand, somebody that you connect with not only on a transitional level but like like a mental like you know what I'm saying like you feel like you got into them and I feel like I'll let them into me. That's a sister to me. Right. Do you think that you think that you you. A lot of people label you as a bully. Do you think you're a bully? I absolutely do not think that I'm a bully. I think I'm very aggressive. Because you were you were in a lot of situations with a lot of people, and they, they and they were saying like they didn't want to fight, and you still wind up attacking them. I don't recall that. Like Vicky Gotti, Shanice, Violet, um, like a couple of people was giving. Nah, nah. The thing, the thing, the the. Yeah, those is all lies, gag. <laughs> like, those is every single one. Of them. No, I'm not. I'm right, and I'm not saying that they said this. I'm no, not no, saying I'm just. They no, said I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that that they did say. I'm just saying like those is all lies. Um, I've been labeled a bully from way back when I first first came out because I I was the fighter. I was the quickest one to fight. Right. My girlfriends knew how to read. They always wanted to go back and forth. I never, like, I, I didn't learn how to read and start going back and forth until, like, 2008. So I got, like, a whole three, four years before that under my belt where I was just around. And, like, bitches used to actually always, like, talk shit about me and read me and, like, my transition and stuff like that. And because every time, like, like I, if somebody said something to me, I wouldn't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you tried one of my girlfriends, that's when it got personal for me. So if you got into, like, if, 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 you was arguing with Chantel and I'm standing there. After after at least like two minutes of y'all arguing, I wanna fight you now because why are y'all standing here and why are y'all arguing? Y'all talking too much. And I would hit them. So 
people were always making sense about, oh, like she was the bully, but it never really was the bully because if my girlfriends didn't get into arguments with y'all, me and y'all would have never had no type of nothing. Like it would have never, it would have never really been nothing. A lot of the fights that I had so why you let you over my girlfriends, I didn't have no fights over myself because I didn't speak to nobody. So why you let your girlfriends get their own shit on? It wasn't that I didn't let them get it off. It just was like y'all talk too much. I don't got time. Like I don't like I didn't have time to talk. Like what the fuck did we? Y'all just sat here and argued for two minutes, five minutes. We went from fucking the pizza shop on seven all the way down to the pier, and y'all still throwing shade. What are y'all throwing shade for? Let's fight at this point. It's no cops over here. Let's get it and let's just go. Like no shade, and that's what that's what it used to give. And that's when people started um like the whole label of the bully thing, and they started the whole oh we steal people phones and. Dumb shit like that, but those fights. Y'all was y'all was still sidekicks back then. Imani was, was still sidekicks back then. Imani was still sidekicks. I never stole nobody's sidekick. They used to say we stole phones. They said we walked around you with little... hammers. They said we used to. Do... I never. I had a hammer in my bag one time, and um, I had a screw. I had carried a screwdriver one time because me and Imani had gotten into a tussle with the trade, <laughs> like, and I felt like I needed to defend myself, so that's why I had the screwdriver. The hammer wasn't even my hammer. That was somebody else's hammer that I had in my bag. What is, what is your relationship now with Imani? Um, we don't really have a relationship, actually. Like, if I see her, it's like we speak. Like, we, we, we speak. It's not, it's not no, like, it's not no shade or nothing. Like, I don't have no problem with nobody. I speak to everybody. And I good, good girlfriends no more? No. So that that night on Bigo, what was the big situation? Because I feel like you was trying. I feel like you was trying to play us. How was I trying to play y'all? Because I felt like I feel like whatever you like. When I got into the whole st- situation about breaking it down of why you were even on there, I knew you was on there because your ex boyfriend. Mm-hmm. But on the same token. I feel like out of respect for me, like I just didn't know, like you know, I already seen it from Quanta phone, right? So when I seen it from Quanta phone, and you Quanta got her phone like this, and you see yourself, you like. So the first thing you think is someone's talking about you, right? Right. So, but I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I saw it. I paid it. You know, I paid it. And then when Tyree brung it up, like, oh, this is somebody on here that we all do cocaine, and it was like. My Asia, why are you doing that for? Why are you entertaining these the thing, trans men and talking about us? The thing was, it wasn't even it wasn't even really said like that. And the way that it came back, I understand how it how it seemed like it was said, but it wasn't said like that. Like you know how you like watching TV because remember I was like talking to y'all in the comments on my other page because my main page was blocked. Mm-hmm. No, I was talking to y'all on my main page in the comments because I was blocked. I couldn't go live, but I was live on my backup page. And I was already in the room with them when somebody sent me a, the, the live and told me to go in there because my ex was in there and he was talking about me, quote unquote. So um, we, I was just in there or whatever. And <clears throat> when I went in there, um, Kavar had went in there as well. Kavar had went in there as well, and um, because he was like, uh, like he wanted to see like who the ex was or whatever. So I'm, like he went in there as well. Like he was just like on the thing, and Kavar had his phone laying on him and he had the iPad above him. So it was like. It, like, you could see straight at the thing. You get what I'm saying? Like, it looked like it was, like, being shown, but it was like he was holding it in his hand. And I wasn't even really watching from there. I was watching from my... I was watching from my iPad because I was, like, writing in the comments. And, you know, you're watching TV and something, like, happened, and you like, bitch, what, how the fuck you gonna say that? Like, how she gonna do that? And you do the same thing. It gave one of those type of things. So when the conversation came up about what you had said was, Everybody has everybody has their own their 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 own thing. Like like and my thing is I just wouldn't date somebody that do coke. And the whole panel was like, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't either. Everybody was like making faces and stuff. And I was like, I don't understand why nobody even saying that. And like everybody on the panel did the coke except for Courtney and I don't know this boy number seven, so no. And then I put the rolling eye emojis in the comments. So it wasn't said like, oh, but he do coke and he do coke. No, it didn't give that. I was just saying it out loud because I'm looking at the thing. Even now, if I'm on somebody's live and somebody's like talking, I would start like, I would laugh. I would like talk as if I'm in the thing, but I'm not in the thing. You get what I'm saying? I get that part, but I, but on the same token, like even if, even if, even if we all did coke 
It wasn't Kavon them business to know what we do. But I wasn't saying it to tell them. If you understand right. what I'm saying. I wasn't saying it to tell them. I was just saying, like, it just was coming out. Okay. Just, just asking, just asking. So, um, um, so, I don't know if you, I don't know if you was on Kelly Payne, um, Kelly said that, um, you, you had got, um, Brayden pregnant. Was that true, or was that Are a lie? Are you fucking kidding me? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, that, that, that is, is true. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest to say that that was true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gagging. We're not doing. We're not doing all of that, money. Just listen. Just all you gotta do is listen. Um, we were dating. Um, and and as um as people, people have sex. And we had sex, and you know, shit happened. That was it. But. Before that, that was my man. Why would you want to date my man? <laughs> so, it wasn't that I wanted to date your man. Um, we was at Imani house, right? And we was, we was, at, Imani, we was at Imani house. And, um, before, he, before we was at Imani house, before he even dated you, I thought Brayden was cute. But then y'all got into a relationship, and it just like I didn't I didn't know him anyway, so it was just no speaking. So we was like at Imani house or whatever, and he was like like he was like flirting, and it was kind of like like I didn't even expect him to flirt with me because that's when like that was like going through like my in and out period. So one day I was a boy, the next day I was a girl. I'll be a boy for the morning, and then the evening I'll be a boy. So I didn't even really expect him to like really find me attractive. I was in like I, I'm not gonna say a vulnerable space because I don't want to make it seem like I'm taking anything away from him, but I was kind of like like in between like a lot of shit and like you know he at at that time I, I didn't find myself attractive and he found me attractive and I didn't understand why he found me attractive but like you know we started we started speaking that day we flirted that day and then um we had met up again the next day and <laughs> child we met up the next day and you know we we ended up um sleeping together I'll, I'll use that word. And how many, how many, how many of my pieces did you talk to besides that one? I didn't talk to any. I didn't talk to any of your pieces. There was one other piece. There was one other person that you dated that I was talking to, but I didn't know that you and the person were dating. Who? Yeah, I did not know you and the person. I did not know you and the person were dating at all. And when I found out, I kind of like, I kind of balked, like bitch. Who? R.I.P. Jalen? Yes. That was the only person. <laughs> that was the only person. Oh, I, didn't, I, didn't I, didn't I didn't know that y'all were like dating. I think I, I, I think Alex had said, me and Alex like talking one day and Alex had said something like, because I knew Jalen was a Muglia. And Alex had said something to me about something. He was like, yeah, because I'm um, Courtney's boyfriend. And I was like, she had a boyfriend? Who was my boyfriend? He's like, oh, this, um, she had this, this boy, this trans man named Jalen. I'm like, Jalen? The light skin one, and she was like, "Yeah." In my head, I'm like, "Bitch, are you serious?" And I had like texted him. I'm like, "You go out with Courtney, like you know that's my mother, right?" And he was like, "Oh no, I didn't." And we know. said, and I was, he was like, "No, I didn't know that." And I was like, "Wow." And then that was just it. I just paid it up for that. <laughs> I just paid it up for that. Yo, no, but I, no, but I definitely respect you for bringing it to. But how did you feel when Kelly put, when Kelly wrote that all over? When she said it all over, um, um. On so Vigo. the thing is, I didn't even know. I didn't even know nothing about it. Gag! I didn't even know nothing about it. It was like probably like like four o'clock, like either that next morning or something. And I had like got on live, and then somebody had came up there, like, and it was like telling me like, oh, like you're, like somebody was like talking about you, and they were saying like my Asia, and I don't know who my Asia is, and then da da da, and then it was like something something training on her, and I'm like, what training on? Like it's only I only know one training on her. So I'm like, what are you talking about? But he wouldn't say name. The person wouldn't say names. He's like, you know, they was like saying something like with a situation and like you was fucking with somebody. So I'm like, me? Like, I'm, I don't fuck with nobody up here. Like, what? And they're like, oh, well, the situation got to be all. And he's like, yeah, they said something about um, the person was pregnant. And as soon as he said, as soon as he said that, 
No, no, no. He was like, the person was pregnant. And I'm like, the person was pregnant? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? Like, because that was so long ago. Like, that was like 10 years ago. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, da da da. And then when he was like, yeah, because when Kelly said, I'm like, oh, girl. Like, no, the fuck. <laughs> like, no, the fuck she didn't, bitch. <laughs> like, no, the fuck she did not. I'm like, what? Like, what type of like, what, what type of weird shit is like going on or whatever? And I have, um, I have wrote Kelly, I have wrote, I have wrote Kelly, and I have wrote, um, I have wrote Kelly and I have wrote Raiden, both because I wanted to know what the fuck was going on. And um, Kelly had wrote, Kelly had wrote me back, um, and I was just like, I was like, I would appreciate like if you keep my name out of whatever you got going on, whatever beef y'all have, whatever incident, whatever, whatever problems y'all got between each other. That has absolutely nothing to do with me, because in my eyes, I, I like I dated him after you, but I dated him before her. So whatever we had going right. on, that don't really have anything to do with you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you, like our business don't have shit to do with you. That was ten years ago. It shouldn't even be on B though, unless it's coming from one of us. It shouldn't come out of nobody else's mouth. How she know about it? I don't know. I do not know. Why? Why? So what? Why didn't have the baby? I was young, like I like I was like I was I was like nineteen, like I was like nineteen years old. I can't remember how old he was, but I was just like really really young. Like I didn't have a job. I was Forty, like, <laughs> girl. I didn't have a job. Like I didn't I didn't have any. Like I didn't really have anything. Like I was living with my mother. Like he was like staying with like he was staying at. Then he came and was like staying with me. So it was like. I was, like, like we came to, a, it wasn't, like, a decision that I made or a decision that he made. We actually sat down and had, like, a full conversation about it. Like, we had, like, a full, like, we had a full conversation about it. You tried. I didn't, say, tried. I didn't say 40. I didn't say 40. <laughs> but we actually, we actually had a full adult conversation about it, you know, and it was something that we both came to times where that we were not ready for that. And, oh, like, you know, like, it, it, was, it was what it was. But no, but I appreciate you for um for for even telling me like when it was like yeah, and I I made sure I made sure I said something to you before it really really got like serious and we were like in like a relationship. I wanted to bring it to you first, even though like like little stuff had happened. It was still like out of respect for you. I wanted to bring it to you and make sure that you knew. And honestly, if you like when I said it to you and you was like, "Girl, I don't care if you say like bitch like like that," I have nothing to do with me. Like that's that's something to do with you. Like that I have nothing to do with me. If you would have said no, I would have paid it. You got a gag. I swear to God, I would have paid it. Because even before, even I, I, before I, I brought it to you, you even before I brought it to you, I had a conversation with like my kids about it, and I, like they was like, "Like, are you gonna tell her? Like, and what, like, what did she say? No. Like, she said, no, I'm not gonna date him.' Because I had praised you at that time. You late as shit now, but I thought you was the fabulous girl at that time. So I'm like, no shit. If she said no, I can't date him. I'm not gonna date him. Like, I'm not. I'm still one of the fabulous girls. Now, you are one of the fabulous girls. You late as shit though. <laughs> and you you, you told you, you, so yeah, you told me that back in the day. You would think a bitch is so fab and bitches be late. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think I'm oh wow, wow, wow. Um damn, so you <laughs> I found my name, that's my fab grands. I love corner. Yes, um so Speaking about dating, speaking about dating, were you, so um, what do you what do you prefer? What, what do you who, what do you prefer as in date? What do you look? What do you date? Like what do you what are you into? Boys, 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 or type of boys? boys. Uh, boys, boys, or type of boys? Black, Did you black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese boys? <laughs> no. Did I you just, go out with Foot? Like, was Foot your like boyfriend? Men. I just like I just like men. Preferably, I like trans. I like trans men. Um. I just feel like it's more of an understanding when it comes to, like, the whole dating thing and, like, you know, being trans. Y'all can kind of relate in a lot of areas because when you deal with, like, the tray or when you deal with the tray or when you deal with, like, butch queens, it just don't ever really pan out the way you expect it to pan out. It it, it take, it take too it take too much. But I'm starting to realize now that even, <laughs> even dealing with anybody just takes too much. You was going out, so you was going out with foot. No, I mean, if it's never dated. <laughs> what did y'all have going on, though? Um, I had liked Foots because I like short boys. I like shorter boys. So I had, like, I thought Foots was cute. So, like, I had liked Foots, but that was it. Me and Foots did not go out. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, 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 okay. What about La La like La La? You went out with La La? I never went out with La La, and I know Quana told you that. <laughs> I know Qu- I know Quana said something about that because I, yeah. because I stupid ass caught my phone about that dumb shit. I never went out with nobody's fucking Lala. I never even talked to Lala. Lala is like five. Oh my gosh, no. So 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 what's 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 your what's your whole? What's, I feel like my age. You're a very powerful person, right? What happened with your? Why are you not friends with nobody from your class like that? Like all the girls that came out that she came out with like. All of y'all was so tight, like you know. And I understand people go through things. Cause me and Erica went through, through things, but me and Ayana, all of us, all stay friends besides me and Erica. But me and Erica's very cool now. Like you and Katrina, all of y'all Asia. Where do well, where I'm, do y'all I'm, all I'm stand? I'm still cool with Asia, and I'm still cool. With, I'm still cool with like Katrina, me and um, me and like like I said, I don't have. I personally don't have beef with nobody, but it's just like shit happened that it like. And I know people probably always be like, bitch, how she always saying it's not her? But then when the stories get broken down, it'd be like, oh, okay, it really wasn't her. Like, it really, it really, really wasn't her. Because you were telling Asia, you, when you see her, you saw Asia on the on the piano that you hope she, well, I, don't know, I don't know what you said. So, Asia, 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 was, Asia was my best friend, right? And whatever we, whatever happened and whatever, like, like, like what we went through, that actually hurt me the most out of all my friendships. And that kind of like mm-hmm. took me to like a whole nother place. And that morning when everything happened on the piano, it was like when she came to me and we had like the, the conversation and she told me the things that she told me. When I went to the people and brought it to the people and they said they never said that and then she had a conversation with them and said that she never told me that, it pissed me off. Because I'm not, I'm not the kind of person to, I'm not going to make up a lie or say you said some shit to me if you didn't say that to me. Like, I'm, I'm real good with stories and shit. Like, I remember word for word what somebody said to me. And, you know, she said she didn't say that. And then on the piano that day, um, like, you know, Ayana had got up there and she, like, in Asia, like, was like, well, let's be honest. There was a conversation. And I asked why she wasn't up here or whatever the case may be because I asked Ayana to come to mediate it. And Ayana was like, right, I remember that. And then my thing was, everybody, when I asked everybody, was there, because I never said that it was a problem. I just said, was there a conversation that was my name ever brought up? Everybody said no. Like, nobody knew what I was, like, nobody knew what I was talking about. They was like, Asia was a liar, and Asia, like, they never had a conversation. They don't know why she did that. And then when they had whatever conversation they had with Asia, they had the conversation without me. And you know how that shit go. When somebody have a conversation without the other, like, without the other person present, a lot of shit could get misconstrued. People could add in what they want to add in. And it was just like a lot of misunderstanding. And that morning when Asia was like, when Asia like said it, like there was a conversation and I asked such and such and I did that and that. It made me even matter because it's like, you're my best friend. Why the fuck would you sit here and tell me something? And then when I go and say something, you going to say that you never told me that as if I'm not going to have your back with these bitches. As if I'm gonna let something happen she, to you. She, like I'm not gonna let nothing happen to you. I'm not gonna let these. Who was she ducking from? Not that she was ducking from anybody, but it was like if that was the thing, and and not not being funny or trying it or nothing like that. But at that time, her and Katrina was speaking. Her and Katrina are not speaking right now, and they're not on speaking terms. So I feel like that was why it came out the way it came out, because y'all don't speak. So now you want to say something. And it was like when when this all could have been avoided from the door, and it could have never been no type of static with nobody. You could have just said what it was from the beginning instead of having all of this go on. And we spoke about we spoke about Why it like did... last month. We actually like sat on the phone. We was on the phone for like an hour, and we like we like spoke about it, and like we broke everything down. And we could we actually supposed to be meeting up on Monday to go get um something to eat before she moved. Why why did why did y'all need Ayana to mediate it? Why couldn't you do it? I wasn't there. Okay. That was that was the thing. So whatever conversation that they were having, I guess it was like a sister conversation. And when they got on a conversation, Asia asked Asia or whoever asked Ayana to come because they wanted Ayana to mediate it because Ayana was still close and cool with all of us. You know, we y'all nieces. You know what I'm saying? People people call certain people sister and shit like that, but in reality, we are we y'all nieces. Like, and they called her to have the conversation or whatever they had, and Asia asked. Well, why isn't my Asia on the line? And I guess it was like, oh, well, it's not that we don't like her. You know, sometimes she could just be like a lot. Like sometimes she like, like you know, she just do a lot and we just don't want that. Who said that? I don't know who said it specifically. 
Because what I was told was that, like, like, like they said, it wasn't never said, like, who said it. Are you so? Are you so from the treasure or no? Um, but yeah, that's my sister. Like, I, I haven't seen, I okay. haven't seen her or nothing. But like, like, like she'll come up here like randomly and like come in the comments and stuff, and I say like, "What's up to her?" Or like, um, I have on her on Instagram for her birthday, so I happy birthday and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm still like in, in my mind, I'm, I'm still. It's, it's a, like, like you don't like your family, right? Like everybody doesn't like everybody in their family. Sometimes, see, look, they go treasure right there. Some, um, everybody don't like everybody in their family. You know, mm-hmm. Sometimes family go through stuff, but they still gonna be your family regardless. And that's just how I look at stuff. Like, we gonna be sisters until the end of time. Like, through the, the shit that we've been through together, bitches getting locked up, like, you know, like, like sleeping outside and running around crafting and doing all types of shit. We did a lot of shit together that made us sisters. That would never, like, that would never be broken. But we just may not be friends, but I will always still respect all of the ladies as my sisters. That's just how I look at it. What about Shani? Even Shani? You don't you speak to Shani no, too? No, I don't speak to Shani. So why, why Shani can't get the same treatment? Shani do get the same treatment. Shani why you can't Shani have a conversation with her? Shani don't speak to me. And I just don't care. Okay. Okay. Um, how about Mercedes. Um, me and Mercedes actually spoke at the ballroom throwback ball. Um, and me and Mercedes, like, like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have no problem with nobody. Like, I really don't have. Because you made a video, you made a video, you made a video about Mercedes crying. You saw one night at Vogue night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and you, you have to go. Like, you, you no. Okay, so I want to find that video. Let me explain. Let me explain the video. So, what happened was I saw Mercedes at Vogue night, um, and she was stoned. So back in the day, like, like, like when me and my girls, when we was like, like getting into the party stuff and stuff like that, Mercedes was always the only one that did not party. She did not party. She didn't drink. She didn't do nothing. Like, she just was like, you know, she was just always herself. And then like, like I guess like the situation was like, like Akeem got out of hand. You know, she started going through whatever she was going through. She started doing what she was doing, and. I would see her and it wouldn't be that bad. And like people will always say, like Mercedes was carrying, Mercedes was carrying, Mercedes was carrying. But I didn't like it, me and Mercedes. It never gave that with us. And one day I saw her at like Vogue night, and you know what Mercedes gives? She want to have these toxic ass negative conversations in the middle of the wrong place. And I was like, Mercedes, this is not a time for that. Like we could talk about this later, sis. Like no shade. And she started carrying, like screaming, like why you don't want to hear me? And, like, I'm, like, trying to get away from her, and the bitch was, like, chasing me around Vogue night and everything, and I was just so embarrassed. Not even just for her, but, like, like, like I was embarrassed not for my, not just for myself, but for her, because I'm like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, even when we was outside, like, I, like, I wanted to cry so bad when, like, when it was happening, because I'm like, girl, what is wrong with you? But I kind of, like, held it together, and then the next day, like, I was just, like, I just wanted to make a video and just, like, talk about it. I think I was on the phone with somebody first. And I was talking about it, and I just got, like, so emotional, and I just started, like, crying, like. And I just felt like, I felt like me talking to her, it couldn't get through to her, because I tried to, like, talk her out of it the night before, and I ended up making a live video, and that's when I was, like, crying, y'all, carry it. Bitch, she went, I said she went 40. And she takes it as me trying to embarrass her, but I wasn't really trying to embarrass her. I was really, like, hurt for my sister, because I felt like my sister was hurting, and she was really going through something. Because the way every the, the the way everybody else relationship was with Mercedes, me and Mercedes never had that relationship. Me and Mercedes always had a real good close relationship. Like me and Mercedes were always the closest. Like before I was even close with Shimmy, I was close with Mercedes. I, like before I was before I was close with a lot of the other girls, I was close. Like me and Mercedes was the closest. Gag. Y'all went out. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Like dated? Like we dated? Dated fuck. No, like, I never did like, nothing with Mercedes, and I wish she stopped lying. <laughs> Mercedes is always telling that lie. You remember that my she said she hit. You remember that my Isha got the first when we was there, and we was like we was like arguing like going back and forth. And I'm like, girl, like stop fucking talking to me. And she was like, yeah, um, something, something, something. But I fucked you. I'm like Mercedes, you never fucked me. She like, but you wanted. She's I'm like, like Mercedes, I never wanted that shit, bitch. You had acne, girl. Like, I did not want you. Like, I never had with Mercedes. I wish Mercedes stopped telling people that. Nobody did not have with her. Like, 
Oh, she said she fucked you before. Mercedes never touched me. Mercedes never touched me. You know who Mercedes used to talk to? Gag? Asia. Oh, she told me that. Yeah, Asia and Mercedes used to talk. That was the only person. And Mercedes and um, Treasure used to kiss. That don't have shit to do with me. I never did none of that with Mercedes. I don't give a fuck how that guy. We was not doing that. I don't play that shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Mercedes is crazy. crazy. Oh my god. So, so, I'm gonna yeah. ask you, uh, but twin, y'all used to kiss uh, No, go ahead. So <laughs> how, so so I wanna go back into the boardroom a little bit. So you was walking around this. How did you start walking? How did you start walking phase? What made you want to start walking phase? You gag when um when um when you had me walk face at the um at the Kiki Wall on Shere team. Okay, how did you become a Mugler? So Alex told me that I should come to the house and then like like um like like Alex oh. me. Alex Alex what do Alex Alex told me that mm-hmm. I should come to the house and then like Kamora has said it to me one time and then I had spoke me and Arturo had like I think we went to each other at like a Vogue night and Arturo had like said it to me like like you like you should come and then I was at. I forgot what ball. I think it was like the Red Bull. And Yusuf, I came to the Red Bull. And Kamari and um, Melmo had like pulled me to Yusuf. Like, what do you think? Like, is like, she Mugler material? And um, Yusuf was like, yeah, she's def- like, she definitely Mugler material. Like, bring us to the meeting. But I was an icon. I was so stuck. I was so stuck as an icon. I didn't really want to go nowhere. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really want to leave icon. The only reason why I left Icon was because I just felt like it was really no growth there. Like I just would always be like a realness girl. And at the time, like the house started to like 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 they started to kind of like fade into the background. And even though I was always being kind of like background, I kind of wanted to do like something a little different because I wanted to explore my options. Like I just I just felt like I didn't always want to be being kind, but like especially like not at balls, I didn't always want to be being kind. I wanted to do something different. So how do you like being a Mugler so far? I, I like I like it for the most part. I'm very like stand offish, so I don't really like like speak to a lot of people and stuff like that. But there are people in the house. Um, <laughs> you girl, shut the fuck up. Um, there are there are people in the house that um I do that I did grow like close bonds with like Arturo, Roxy, um, Chanel, Chi Chi, like and like a few other people that I got like really really cool with from being in the house. But like I like. Like they 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 do their stuff. I do my stuff, and I just like you know. I just kind of like they they always tell me to come around and stuff, but I just be paying it. I just be paying it. I just I just are they are they very are they so? Did you get in the house for face or did you get in the house for realness? I in the house for realness. So when you started walking face, what did they say? Because I heard that that was an issue. Well, I never I never really got the opportunity to walk, but. October was giving me a hard time about it, like, like, oh, you're not ready, and, like, you don't even know where to start, and, like, stuff like that, and, um, I had brought it up to October, like, a few times before I actually put the initiative to, like, try to walk the category, and it was, like, at a point where I was just, like, fuck this shit, like, it's a rumble ball, like, bitch, it's not, it's not that deep, like, I'm, like, like, the, the most I got is, like, get shot, like, but bitch, I'm gonna bring it. Like no shade. Like when I put my mind to something, I always put my mind to it, and I and I bring. I put my best foot forward. I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna carry. So I went. The ball was like the ball was like on a Sunday. I went like that Monday before to um this lady in Harlem. I got measured for the dress. I gave her like the money for the dress. She made the dress. Um, Dave was coming to do my makeup. I did my own hair. And like the day of the ball, I decided to hit October up and let him know that I was gonna walk. And he was like, no, like, you're not ready. And I'm like, what? And he was like, did you speak to Yusuf? And I'm like, what the fuck am I speaking to Yusuf for? Like, I am grown. <laughs> like, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's a like, it's a ball for crying out loud. Like, bitch, like, it's, I'm not trying to go to the motherfucking ballroom throwbacks ball, bitch, and battle, like, Shanice or Stasha, bitch. I'm just trying to, like, get my feet wet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to see, like, what it's given. Like, I know that I could do it, like. He was like, oh, I don't know. I just feel like you're not ready. And I was so, when I said I was so mad, and I was so hurt. I was with Audrina the whole time. And Audrina was with me. And, like, Audrina was gagging because, like, when, once I hung up the phone with October, it was like, I just started going extra hard. I was. We was like, in the store looking for shit. And I'm like, bitch, I'm about to dread. Like, bitch, I'm getting, I'm painting my whole body green at the top. Bitch, like, I'm gonna, like, bitch, I'm about to make it a movie. Like, bitch, they're gonna be over it when I get there. And once I get there, bitch, once I get my tens, if they say Mugler, I'm saying 007, and I want Naja from the back. Because I knew Nadja was coming out. I was like, I want Nadja from the back, and I guarantee you I smoke her, bitch. Like, 
and I can, and I can, like I carried like, and then I was over it because I still got to the ball late. But I looked fab. I was I was so like happy with what I seen. And then when I sent them the pictures, like Atoma was gagging like bitch, like oh my god, like you look amazing, like we like you know like like. We, so like how did that make you feel? Were you, were you were you so were you truly over it? Were you over it that they told you no? Because Mugler is a face house, like it, like in the Kiki scene, the Juicy is a face house, and if somebody did something like that, we would put them out the house for that. Um, I was over it that I was over it that they told me no because I feel like allow me the room to grow. You know what I'm saying? Like if a like like if a juicy be like Courtney, bitch, I want to walk the motherfucking the HMI not not the HMI Woods ball. Like I want I want to walk like 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 the biggest like the red ball. I want to walk face at the red ball, and they never walk face before. You gonna be like, bitch, no. Like, you're not walking face that night. We got enough people walking face that night. Stick to your category, bitch. Go off of your category and carry. Do what you got to do. But if they be like, oh, like, bitch, it's like a little a little mini ball, like, bitch, at motherfucking um, at Housing Works. And they have a face. It's for $50. I just want to come out. Like, I can get my own effects and stuff. Like, I just want like, to come out. I just want to try it. You going to still say no? Depending on who the person is. But, like, like... <laughs> But you don't think that that's kind of like stunting somebody's growth in a way? Like it's kind of like like it, it. It is, but it's not. If you came to me for one thing, see, let me know what you want to walk. Like you know, like for instance, like if you come to the house and be like, I want to walk. It's like treasure. Treasure said, I want to walk realness and I want to walk face, right? And I told treasure from the beginning. I said, I don't see it for those categories, but I'm not saying that you cannot be those categories. But if you're gonna get in tonight, you're getting in this house for one way. Cause I gotta put you out. I'm putting you in now. You got 60 days to come out and drop an album. So if in 60 days you can't walk face in 60 days because you're not ready, you're not gonna be able to slay realness in 60 days. Only thing you can say right now, 60 days is runway. So if you don't want to do that, then you can't do it. That's just how right. things go sometimes when when you have a vision. And I've been in that same predicament in houses. I was at, um, I was at Ebony and I told the Ebony's I wanted to. You see my daddy. Um, I told the Ebony's I wanted to walk face. And they told me, no, I should walk body. This is you should walk body or you should walk runners. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. And I found a house that, that was willing. And I asked another house. Clever. <laughs> I asked another house, like, you know, um, can I? I, I was supposed to join another house. I, I wanted to be in Mugler. And I was trying to get in. I think I was trying to go somewhere else too. And everybody was telling me. They was all telling me no. They mm -hmm. all telling me no. So... I went with uh, Pony had the Blondix and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go with the Blondix." And Pony was like, "Hell yeah, I got you for face." He was like, "You gonna be with me?" I got you. So then when Pony left Blondix, he took me to Blond he took me to Zion, and I stayed with Pony throughout the thing because he's the one that believed in me. Although the other houses did not believe in me, but I went with somebody that did. So sometimes you gotta take your talents elsewhere for those that do believe in you. And then I'm glad I took the route that I took because. When I came back around, all those houses that told me no, seven, eight years later, they all asked me to be mother of their house after they was telling me no. That makes sense. So you got to someone follow your own destiny. That makes sense. Because, like, the, the key know, is, before before I went to Mugler, I was supposed to be a mentor, yeah. Like, me and Jack had a whole conversation, and I was supposed to go to, I was supposed to be, like, a whole, I was actually, like, a, like, 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 in the house, but I never really, like, went and, like, walked nothing or did nothing. And um, Anika had got Anika had got into Muglia first, and when Anika had got in, and then like Envy was there, they was like, "Bitch, like come, like, like come, it's cute, you'll like it." And I ended up just going like for that, and it was just like I was thinking about walking different categories at the time, but it was like I didn't like I didn't really say nothing. But then when me and Tova would have like personal conversations and stuff, I would tell him like 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 you know I want to walk face, like not now, like you know like in the future. And when I first did that that green body thing, it was like two years later. And, like, I was, like, I kept bringing, like, when we would speak, I would bring it up. And it was, like, it was never, like, oh, like, you know what, we're going to try this. Or we're going to do that. We're going to, like, you know, we're going to, like, see if we can get your feet wet and do this. Like, come to practice and sell it. It never gave none of that. It was just always, like, oh, like, y'all, like, you know, you're just not ready. Like, you're just not ready. So I'm, like, oh, okay. Like, bitch, well, when will I be ready? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. And I was, like, I was willing to get put off of it and everything. Yeah. Because I was, like, bitch, it is, it is what it is. Like, I, if I'm going to try it, like, let me try it. Because the first person to put in my head about even walking face gag was Jack. Jack was the first person to ever put it, like, in my head because I never, like, thought, I never even thought about it. So, and so, so, and why you didn't go with Jack? See, that, that, that would have been your, that, your vibe right there in the boat. 
right. It it would have it would have been. It definitely it definitely would have been. But I I don't I don't know. I felt like like it I, it may be a late it may be a late thing to say, but I felt like like Muglia was like fabber. Like you know what I'm saying? Not fabber. And I I didn't want to be in the house where the commentator was like the leader of the house because I feel like the commentators controlled the ball and I felt like I wanted to earn my spot. I didn't want to just keep being thrown at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You earned your spot. Lola earned her spot. Tempers earned her spot. I wanted to earn whatever, like, I wanted to bring to the table. Right. I didn't want it to be, like, like I didn't want to be those girls that every time you come out, like, just because you're in a house, they go up for you, but then the people on the floor are not really caring. I didn't want to be one of those. I feel you. I feel you. Well, you was a con at one point, too, right? Yeah, I was a con. I was a con. I was a con, then I was an icon. Then, um, I guess I was, I guess I'll say I was like a mentor for like, like two months and then I, was, I went to Muglia. So what's next? So when you, so when you walk in again, you've been, actually you've been slaying the boss face on Bigo. Yeah, but I want to bring, I want to bring it to the, to the floor. I want to, I want to bring it to the floor. Um, I was actually supposed to walk Kelly ball, but, um, COVID happened. So that, that I never got around to doing that. Did you, did you speak to the Muglia's about that? Yeah, I spoke to them about that. They, like, we actually all agreed. And they supposed to be helping you. They supposed to be putting out your album for you. Well, I was probably gonna do like, cause that's another thing with me. I don't be wanting like I'm stubborn when it comes to stuff like that. I be wanting to do stuff my way because people see stuff a different type of way than I see it. Like, and I feel like nobody's vision is better than yours. No, but you. I feel like what I learned a long time ago. I have I have my own visions, but what made me successful when when I had them two years and I was winning back to back. I finally had a team in place. I had a team. Like, I feel like every... Didi told me this a long time ago that I needed a team of people. And I had my team, which I thought it was supposed to be Gia and them, but that was not my team. My team was Nikki, Quana, Mother. Th- that's my team. The team that when you at the ball, bitch, and they're like, uh-uh, hold on, hold on. Bitch, put them, they putting the lotion on your toes. They putting the lotion. They making sure you smell good. They making sure nobody's not touching you. Don't, don't kiss nobody. You need your team. That's going to be very aggressive, and they're going to be really, really forceful. Like, I was, I was, when I was team based with Jason, and when I came to the board, it was my son, me, mother, Kai, everybody started coming out, and they, they would, they wouldn't even let Jason stay next to me. Jason was like, damn, I'm, I'm about the prodigy, I'm going to get this. They were, they literally was walking my hand after I walked the board, they were leaving, they're like, oh, you, congratulations, mother, you turned it, we out, like, you need your team, like, you need your team of people, regardless of whoever it is, you know? You need to have, you got to have that. That To walk that category, your nerves be all over the place. You got to. Yeah, I get that. I definitely get that. I, I, I know from, from experience because watching girls like, like, all my students come from the QVC and I take it from that to move it to mainstream and that's what made me more successful. Like working with Little Kim, working with Little Kim, right? And we watch Little Kim be an unbothered and then become a juicy and have three of the years and become one of the most popular girls in the kicking scene because her she had a not only did she have me, but she had a a, a clique of people which was Donnie, fucking Day Day, like the, like even at the awards ball, like even at the awards ball, she was not even walking they had her walking street where at the ball, like they had her together, like, we're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. And and her thing is like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that the juicy said, show up. Like, they're putting clothes on her, like, literally pulling her together, and she don't even understand what's going on because you need a team sometimes. You need somebody to, to try things on you and to to navigate for you. Like, even when I have Yancey fly out to balls to do my hair and everything, I, like, every bit of it I love. Like, you need people. Like, and you you come from my DNA, so we come with the thing, I got it. It's going to be me in London. We're going to ride out. Right. Yeah, we can't ride out to London. <laughs> right. That's we what can't you ride did, out like... to London. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You can't get because that. London. But you I'm, also I'm, need somebody I'm kind of, not... I'm, I'm kind of learning that because like, like my, my, I was start, I was starting to build a team. Like Dave was gonna be like a part of my team, and I wanted Tamia to definitely be a part of my team because I really believe in Tamia's like talent. I think I mean Tamia is like amazing at like laces and shit like that. You know, that's like the new thing. Like her styling thing, I was gonna try to like get her to like push and like do other stuff and do like more different stuff, but. I could never get her to do it because she was always doing other shit. Right, right, right. She definitely was just if so you're gonna compete. You're gonna compete. So so when you come out for when you come out for big groceries, who do you think your who do you think your number one competition is gonna be? Mila. 
Mm-hmm. I want what about Toya Ebony? Toya Ebony's undefeated, though. My daughter Toya Ebony's undefeated. Toya, Toya, Toya is undefeated, but I'm, 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 I, I'm trying to work my like. I, I want to get Toya too, because Toya, Toya got my girlfriend a few times, and I ain't like it. <laughs> Who your girlfriend? Chanel Roy? Chanel. Yeah, she got she got Chanel out of there. Like I think I think her and Chanel got to touch her Chanel out of there like twice. So I want I want a piece of Toya. I definitely want a piece of um Mila. Um, bitch, I want the whole Lana from Virginia gag. <laughs> I, want I, the didn't, whole... I didn't. I didn't. You see that one? You want a piece? You want a piece of Adrena? You want a piece of Adrena? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> she said she said she coming out to get the girls. No, she can come. She can come out and get the girls. Like we'll we'll just see what happens. But do I want Audrina? Do I want Audrina? No. Do I want Audrina to get on the floor though? No, I would love to see Audrina get on the floor. But do I want her? No. <laughs> you want Kelly? What about Kelly? Yeah, I I feel like Kelly would be easy. The only reason why Kelly would give you is Kelly is legend. <laughs> I feel like I was. I feel like I was smoke Kelly gag. Yeah. <laughs> like you, so, I, feel so, like I, you, I feel like I would smoke. I feel like I, I feel like like the way I sell it in the house. I feel like I would smoke a lot of girls, and I just. But I feel like like being on the floor would be something different because you know that's a, that's a, like being in your house. You could give everything that you want to give, but when you get on that floor, you freeze. All that go, all of that practice and selling and this shit that you was doing, all of that shit goes out the window. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it just goes completely out the window. And Bigo is cute, but it's still not a ball. Right. How many boys you want on Bigo? For Faze? Yeah. Um, I won two for Faze. I was last battle. I was, I won I won two and I was last battle for the girls for the um the thousand. Like last week. I heard I heard. Congrats. they said you who the who you battled that night? They said you was doing your thing that night. I battled um yeah, I battled Simone. I battled um What's I Simone? Simone. Um, Japanese faces. Someone that be on the issues of the makeup. I battle her. I think was, I think was um, fat Simone. No, 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 no. Me and Simone is actually we in the same house. Simone is a Muglia. Okay. I be wanting oh, her to come out. I be wanting Simone to come out more too. We, we both supposed to be um like trying to like come out. We go. Yo, <laughs> I see Mercedes, Mercedes is at the Mercedes, bottom. Mercedes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mercedes, not that Simone. And you've been walking up, and I've been slaying you for realness lately. So, Have you? <laughs> I swore you up twice. When? At the club when I tore all the Mugler's up. It, it, it was it, Kelly had to break the tie. That wasn't a tear up. <laughs> that was a tear up, my agent. That was a tear up. That was not a. That was not a tear up. You tore up that everybody a, else. You did not tear me up. <laughs> my agent, it was I break you up. It was break. It was break the tie, and Kelly had to break the tie. That was not a tear. I'm sorry. I think I think we battled on Bigo, and you you probably smoked me on Bigo, and I, I will give you that. But that at at that no, you did not tear me up that night. You did not. Cause you, you, I feel like I feel like you, like like you, you, you wanted it, but you ain't really want it. Cause what you gave everybody else, you didn't give me when we battled. See, my here, mind you, I, I, I would say. Look at, look at the vibe. Look. I was fighting them here though. Fighting them here is different. Platinum here is different. Like, platinum here is different. Yeah, platinum, platinum, platinum here is platinum here is different. But you didn't tear me up though. <laughs> like, get all the way. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get into the like. It's all about the votes. It's all about the votes. You should have wiped me out, Gag. You ain't wiped me out. It was break the top. It was a platinum here. That's why they they wasn't trying to give it to me. Like if I had my real main, I would have carried. No, if you would have had your roommate, you wouldn't carry. And if I would have had my roommate, it would have still been the same thing. <laughs> we would have battled. Oh my god! No, but that was, that was that was that was a cute that was a cute battle, gang. I, I like I like that battle. I like that battle. So um, so do you have any more questions for my Asia? Have any more questions for my Asia? Why you didn't? Why you came up the name Traniano? Yeah, so we was on house party, and um, that's when a song with Blueface that came out. And everybody was changing their names to like stoop like to stupid shit on 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 um on house party like Bagiana, Tapiana, 
Trady on uh like and I just I just changed my name to um to Trini. I just changed my name to Trini on her. And I don't know, I just liked it from House Party because I felt like it was different. Are you in love? No. Not at all. Why she try to play me? Girl, we touched that already. <laughs> like, <laughs> 